I'm in Turkey and my daughter says that she hears the call of prayer happening outside because we're in a Muslim country. Everyone has to get up and do the call to prayer and she can hear it. I'm going to have to listen for it tomorrow morning. I'm in the bathroom getting ready. I hear it. Hey, TikTok fam. So my TikTok experience thus far has been absolutely great. You all have been fabulous. You've asked so many important questions. You've asked me about so many important topics and I want to cover them all. I do. I want to cover them all. Um, I think our cadence here to start is going to be once a week and I try and, you know, answer as much as I can. Have I already shared that one of the reasons I've been slow in answering comments is because I'm in Izmir, Turkey? You know, I'm a vibrant living advocate and I think you have to do all the things. So, I'm trying to make this all make sense. We're going to roll it into one circle that makes sense. Someone said to me, have you always been into hair and skin care? Well, I've been doing my own hair since I was 12 or 14 years old. So hair care, yes, right? Then around 40, I became a fitness instructor. And so taking collagen and protein and, and the byproducts of a life in fitness where you have glowing skin because you're sweating because you're moving endorphins because you have a new level of peace and so all the things start coming together because you're doing the things you're drinking water because you're working out so so 40 into now I'm not simply hair skin and fitness and so then around 50 then when you begin to notice some of the changes you say oh let me get some of these things that they said on the commercial because it's going to make my skin care better well, at 55, I joined the, or 50, I'm 57 now. So at 56, I joined the Sephora squad. 55, I applied. 56, I got accepted and joined. I joined the Sephora squad. So imagine the joy. I'm living the dream. A product junkie now gets products sent to her daily, like four or five boxes. And I have elevated skincare, probably more elevated than I would have invested in on my own, right? So I've washed my face. I flat ironed it my hair. Um, I've answered a question about products and I still am going to list out all the products even though the list is going to be long because I'm a product junkie. Um, and sometimes they won't net the same results because I don't use them the same way you might use them. The same is true with supplements. That was the next question. What are your supplements? Well, I went through six months of taking collagen only. I went six months taking vitamin uh, biotin only, um, vitamin D, magnesium, zinc, sea moss. Um, I can't think of the name of the supplement, one that I really like that's really tasty. It's a bite sized morsel. It says it's food, not just a supplement. Why am I drawing a blank? Anyway, I'll put it in, I'll pop it up on the screen when I do the editing. Um, yeah, but like, so I do a little bit of everything. So when I, I can't say that. Nutrafol did this because I only did maybe six months of it but I'll tell you what I followed up with something else I never stopped in Chicago I used a powder that I swore by and it had extra calories in it and I was trying to gain a little weight back then so but it's but it's never been not anything it's always been something but I'm gonna tell you my thought about that I'm having a hot flash I'm sweating um menopause <laughs> forgive me so my thought about that is, as a trainer, if I'm working out glutes, I'm not going to just do squats. I'm not just going to do whatever, whatever, whatever the exercise that works it out. I'm going to do all six because I know if I do the one thing, then it's eventually going to fail. Okay. So I've got my skincare done because I've washed my face. I've flat ironed my hair even though I can feel it sweating out. Let's do some makeup because... Again, I'm in Izmir, Turkey. It's time to go meet my dentist. I got in, I got here yesterday. We went to dinner. The food is fabulous. But today I have my consultation, so I've got to put on makeup to go. Hold on. So I am pretty much a makeup minimalist. So I am pretty much a makeup minimalist. I think the good skin care is my makeup. But and I use eyelash serum and my eyelashes are decent, but I like lashes, so I'm gonna do lashes today. I got these from Amazon. 
I'll put them on the page. I used to, I got something else from Amazon before and I like them, but again, I like sampling things. So simply because I like it doesn't mean I'm not gonna buy the next one. I'm gonna buy the next one too. And even though these, these are the self-adhesive kind, but I found what works best for me. There's a little mirror here. We're gonna pull this forward so I'm gonna get close in there. Yeah, and you can see me put this lash on. I found that I like putting glue on even though it's self-adhesive. This is from Lily Lashes. And I'm just gonna take this. And gently swipe that there. Now they come in 16, 14, 12, and 10. I'm gonna start with two 14s. I'm not going with the 16s today. I'm not going for a high glam look. I'm gonna go for me, which is my natural, for me, lash look. I'll just place that under there. That's 14. Like I said, two 14s, two 12s, and maybe one or two tens. Fourteen. Again. Twelve. Mm-mm. It's their call of prayer. What's that? Because it's a Muslim country. Everybody has to get up and pray when you hear the mosque and the call of prayer. I'm in Turkey and my daughter says that she hears the call of prayer happening outside. Because we're in a Muslim country, everyone has to get up and do the call to prayer. And she can hear it. I'm going to have to listen for it tomorrow morning. I'm in the bathroom getting ready. I hear it. I do hear it. That's beautiful. There is power in numbers and praying as a group, as a unit, I believe in that power. Okay, I'm gonna turn my thing around so I'm, cause I'm getting closer to the inner eye. I'm gonna try not to get so close to the mirror so you all can still see what I'm doing here. Now I could shove another 10 up front, but that's good enough for me. And you're like, girl, they don't even look like you put any lashes on yet because I'm, I'm not trying to fly away with the wind with lashes. Okay, and then I'm just going to take that and clamp it. So on this side I did two 14s, two 12s, and one 10. We're going to do the other eye real quick. I'm not going to talk so we can fast forward through this one. So that's it. Lash is done. I feel like these look really natural. That's how I like my lashes to look. There we go. All right, moving right along here. Now, I also have a sealer. I can seal these lashes. I'm not gonna do these. I'm not gonna do that right now. I'm gonna let them dry down some, and we're just gonna keep going with makeup. So 
So maintaining your healthy lifestyle is continuous. It's not something like, oh, I can do this and then I'll be fine, or I can do that and then I'll be fine. It's, 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 it becomes a lifestyle. It's not a fad, it's not a trend, it's not something you do once, right? So, and part of like, so this one, the boba, this one size makeup, It has skincare properties in it because what I have decided now is that I've reached the age that all of my skincare, all of my makeup has to have skincare properties. So I'm about to prime my face. If you drag primer, it's not as smooth. You just pat it in and let it dry down. It has a tacky finish so the makeup stays to it better, applies better, and it blurs pores. There, I can feel the tacky grip of that. So, oh, and this is also a primer to leave me dewy and moisturized looking versus dry and matte. You know, there was a time where I wanted a matte finish. I don't want a matte finish anymore. I want a very healthy skincare look. If you're familiar with me on Instagram, you know that Danessa Myrick's Yummy is my jam. So, of course, that's in my travel bag here. It matches my skin. I'm gonna be right back. I gotta get a sponge. Guess what? I had to go get my sponge to do my makeup, but I just talked to my edi editing genius. Guess what she did? She listed the products in the first video. Hold on, let's make the... Hey! A round of applause so your products are there. But remember, I'm a product junkie. It's always gonna be a lot of products. So when you ask me for products, I'll share. But I'm not expecting your uh, arsenal to look like mine at all. So please pick what you like from the products I share and use the one or two or ten that work for you. Um, but don't be like, ah, she's unrealistic. She's got too many products. No, I'm, I'm just hopefully sharing awesome options. Okay. Okay, so my. Now I tell you what. I just said that this Danessa Myricks have been, has always been my go-to since I started using it. When I tried out, when I sampled out this one size, this powder foundation, it's really good. I really like it. And it's really uncomplicated. And it's a good color match. It doesn't leave me... I don't know. I don't know if I've just gotten too used to Danessa. And the finish and texture. But yeah, I, I like the Danessa. But again, you know, I'm trying foundations. I'm, you know, I'm just, mm hmm. So how I use it, I'm gonna tap, tap, tap again. Again, there's a little mirror right here, so that's what I'm looking at. Now listen, I'm gonna use my foundation as my base color for my concealer and then I'll apply a lighter one after that but you see the skin like finish so my Danessa you see that I love that it's just so pretty to me I'm not gonna rub because I don't want to move my primer I'm just gonna kind of tap it in and not get it in my hair Now, I haven't put on concealer yet, and some folks start there, but I'm using this as my base color that matches my skin color before I put a highlighter on. So I'm simply going to do a little bit of that. I like that. Okay. 
foundation done. Now I can do all that. I don't do contouring here. Um, I could contour my nose some. Again, I'm traveling, so I'm not even sure I bought anything to do that with. Brows. These are my brows. The Glossier. Dark brown. boy brown in I don't know if you can see that glossier dark brown boy brown when I get home I can arch my own eyebrows I do it and I do it with tweezers old school very but the lady who does my pedicure, who is different from the lady who does my manicure, does a nice job of arching them. I'm gonna let her do it when I get home, clean them up real good. But just smidges, touches. I am a makeup minimalist. So when people are like, how'd you make the Sephora squad? Well, you don't even use that much makeup. I am a skincare and hair care girly. I do makeup. But I'm definitely not a full face beat makeup person. When you see me in real life, you'll be like, oh, you look the same. Or if you see me without makeup, which I'm, you know, lots of times am out and about with no makeup on at all. Okay. So there's that. Concealer. Concealer is one of my go-tos that, you know, I generally don't leave home without it. I just find that it brightens the face and makes you look awake. Aware, happy, well-rested. <laughs> okay, if you're waiting for us to have the conversation about why dental work, that's what I was saying. The healthcare is continuous, right? So say you're 30, 40, however you are, wherever you are in this journey. And you go get some crown work done. It doesn't last forever. You have to get it redone, right? And because I have been an empty nester and lived in several dis different states in recent past, I've had several different dentists. And now it just looks like, to me, to me, because everyone's like, eh, your teeth look fine. What are you getting done? To me, it looks like a hodgepodge of work. And if I've had a crown or a cap or just something, now we've got different colors doing different things and they're very closely matched. So maybe you don't notice. I look at myself daily. Um, I notice and I want it corrected for me. And plus it needs to be done over anyway. And we're going with the one band, one sound concept. I looked into getting it done at the States. In the States where I live, very expensive. Did you see, did you, did you see that swipe and no swipe here? We're going to do this one eye. I didn't mean to get it this close over here, but anyway, we're going to do this one eye. I'm going to tell you my cons. You see that? Like, did you see that just wake up my whole face? Is that my imagination? Girl, that's not my imagination. Okay. Look at there. Now, some of you all might like do or um, matter, a drier finish. That's fine. This will dry down some too. But also, um, you know, if it starts dewy, I feel like it won't slide down or melt. Like some that matte when I have a hot flash. Hello, menopause. Another subject we haven't even touched on on this platform yet. Um, I just feels like this stays in place better. And now I look what the folks call bright eye and bushy tail. Okay, you know what I'm saying. <laughs> Girl, I think I'm funny. Okay. So, and like for me, like 
what what more makeup do you want? Like I'm fully made up. I put on this much primer, this much. Then I mean, I just when, when I tell you the bare minimum on that Tanessa, like that's it. Um, a little concealer, the lashes, of course. I've done the brow. I'm gonna do some color on my cheeks. Now. Let's see what I brought with me for this trip. Let's see what I brought with me for color. Looks like we came out with Rare Beauty and Buxom. But I saw a young lady use something that looked like a deodorant stick the other day and she swiped it on. I don't know the name of the brand. I'm, I messaged her for her to tell me because you know I like ease and this is and while they're cute and I like the color what she used just looks so much easier and this is Rare Beauty by Selena Gomez this bronzy color is Transcend this terracotta color is Love and again Okay, I'm not going to keep telling him a makeup mentalist. But, and I don't like my hands to touch makeup too much. So I do two dots. Two dots. And that's going to be it for me. Um, when the young man taught me how to apply this, he put them both on the back of his hand. He mixed the colors in and he blended them well. But again, that's a lot of hand washing for me and makeup everywhere and on towels and kind of put that in the center and a little higher. Okay child, we had to change cameras. And this camera is so bright and pretty and catches my eyeballs and does different things. This is my daughter's camera. I was using my little camera. Oh, I like this. Okay, so anyway, where were we? We were on makeup and how he showed me how to do the makeup and how I prefer to do it. So then I just put it there and kind of mix that up there like that. Mm-hmm. And the girlies have been putting the makeup up real high, so I put it up real high and not carrying it over to the apples of our cheeks too much. And we kind of just do that there, right? Fresh and dewy and young and pretty. You know, they do the dark lines up here. I don't, I don't like all that contouring. I like, I like this. Okay, um, and, and if you do, I'm, I love it for you. This, again, a little bronzer right there. A little bronzer right there. See that? Isn't that cute? Dewy, fresh. Okay. Now when I tell you I got 60 lipsticks, believe it's maybe 80, a ton. I like lip gloss. I like a little lip liner and lip gloss. So a couple sticks I've been using lately. Oh, and by the way, this was um, Buxom. Struggling with focus here. This is Buxom, there we go. And the color on that is Sunlit. Summer Babe Glow Stick in Sunlit. Okay. So that's what we did for cheeks. Now a couple of these brown sticks. Oh, you know what I didn't do? I put on concealer and I didn't tell you what I used. So I just got a Fenty Beauty the other day and I was gonna try that out today and I forgot and didn't try it out. I, I used Old Faithful, so, but we will come back and review this Fenty Beauty in another video. Old Faithful, these two, the brand name is Yensa. Yensa. And I, I use two colors because if I'm not going to do concealer, remember, I mean, I'm sorry, if I'm not going to do foundation, if I'm just going out just skin, I like to put my concealer on. So if I'm not doing foundation, I'm going just skin concealer. My lashes, which I pretty much wear all the time and some brows maybe and some lip gloss. These are called balm concealers. And deep two is my skin color. And deep one, I use as the highlighter. So if I haven't put Danessa Myricks on at all, 
Again, this is my skin color for my under eye. And then this is my highlighter for after. For me, if I just put highlighter on, it looks great or some kind of way, I like to warm it up first and then highlight. Now these brown sticks, I don't have a contour thing with me, which I don't use always. Now this Makeup Forever, it's called an artist pencil. So I could use this on brows, lips, contour, wherever I want. But if I wanted to do the slimming effect for my nose, which this is my nose, so I mean, it's this size, how slim we gonna make it. I mean, we can do some little contour, but if I were going to do contour, and this was all I had, I'd simply draw right there, right? And draw right there. These little hashtags down here, but, but, that right there. And then, to narrow out the nose and then kind of just pat that down and make a shadow. To give an illusion of a contoured nose. And with this nose, I mean what, girl? You just gotta love her. And I do. Okay. All right, same lip liner, same lip pencil. Now I had some clear gloss on, so that's why I was going on kind of loose instead of dense, like I like, because I already have gloss on. And then if I'm putting a colored gloss on, go grab one. Lately, I've just been using the Clarins lip oil. The Clarins lip oil. And if I want a little more sparkle, this is just a sheer lip oil with a little color. I want a little more sparkle. I use the Fenty Riri. So now, do y'all believe me when I say I'm a makeup minimalist? And to me, that looks like a full face of makeup. Okay. Um, I didn't bring a setting spray. don't use them often because I'm not, you know, out and about in makeup for long extended wears of time where I feel like I necessarily need a setting spray. But I did bring a powder. I did bring my Makeup Forever translucent powder, which I don't see. But Laura Mercier makes an under eye powder for brightening the under eyes. But lately I've been using, um, this Clarins and I'm not super worried about my under eyes being bright or, or puffy anymore because this has been taking care of it. I'm gonna do this video in a short so you can see this actually work. You have to forgive my scatteredness. I'm in a hotel room living out of suitcases for now. And the driver for the dentist's office is going to be here at 9.15. These little powder squares I get are from Huda Beauty. I'm trying to hold still so the camera can focus, but anywho, it's Huda Beauty. I don't have 
my other translucent powder and even though this is just under eye we're gonna tap it on everywhere and kind of dust it off we'll be fine it'll be fine she said it'll be fine this brush is from Jones Road I love it it's just big and soft See already that's taking away some of my dewy and I don't know if I like it. Child, I'll have a hot flash. It'll be back. We'll be fine. No. No. That's definitely for under eye and I shouldn't have done that. It looks a little gray to me. But again, before this video, if I had settings proper. Kamari, did you bring setting powder? I mean, setting spray? Huh? I brought the OS setting spray that you just gave me. I'll do that one. It's mattifying, though, huh? I believe that's what it says. I don't need it. I don't want it. No? Mm -mm. Okay. So, we've done just a quick little makeup thing with me. This will warm up in a second. It's new. Um, we've done a quick little makeup we've done we didn't do skincare i got a lot of questions about skincare i use a lot of things for skincare i'll tell you what i'm traveling with how about that the face wash i brought with me is youth to the people it's a kale green tea one what i've been using at home is dr dennis gross face wash i don't like putting my large sizes and travel sizes because I feel like it wastes products so I had a travel size of you to the people I brought that but I love this and I love Dr. Dennis Gross I like a tighter feeling I don't like cream based face washes for me I don't feel like my face got clean because I have hot flashes because I'm oily so I like to have something that kind of almost leaves me I hate to use the term for face care or skin care squeaky clean but I like to be squeaky clean and then I'll re-moisturize myself Never leave home without it. Dose of wisdom. My bouncy skincare. There we go. By philosophy. So after I wash my face, the Clarins Total Eye Lift first. It's expensive. I can't get a good shot of it. Clarence Total Eye Lift First. Is it, it's expensive, but it's worth it for me. I like how it performs. It deep puffs and brightens. And they say use it every morning. I use it morning and in the evening, sometimes after I do my face wash before I go to bed. Okay, so that was Dose of Wisdom, Clarence. Dermalogica has something called the Pro Banking collagen something new I love Dermalogica I use a couple of their scrubs I've used their wash before so I wanted to see what this collagen was about I've only used it three or four times so when I know more I'll share more Kiehl's I believe in a hyaluronic a peptide or something I have a peptide at home I didn't bring with me but I believe in a hyaluronic acid and a vitamin C as well for skincare most of my products have skin, um, vitamin C, peptides, BHA, P AHA, PHA, to exfoliate and those sorts of things. My toner that I use, I use Medicaid. It's spelled M-E-D-I-K and the number eight. Um, I didn't bring it with me because again, it was the full size and I didn't want to transfer it. And I use Laneige. Cream Skin Sarah Peptide. It's a toner and a moisturizer. I had a travel size one of those, so I brought that with me. Um, oh, now listen. When I, after I put on all these moisturizers and peptides and hyaluronics or whatever, I always seal with something heavy. I did an ad for Drunk by Elephant, right? Can you see that?
I did an ad for Drunk Elephant. And people were like, do you use that in real life? What? Okay, and it, it's not promoted to do this. That's how you get it out. But in the winter, I break out with eczema on the back of my shoulders. Honey, the strong elephant keeps all of that calm down. Like, so yes, I put it on my face and I put it on where my eczema would like to break out if it were not for this. Okay, so consultation with the dentist. I'll probably do a couple shorts about it so you all can keep abreast of the journey. Um, but yeah, we're going for the one band, one sound effect. Thank you for playing out here with me today. We covered products which are now on the list, the questions, skincare a little bit. We've covered my run out the door 15 minute makeup look. Um, I flat ironed my hair today. The Kosa flat iron, the grip comb. A couple of people said they got theirs off of Amazon and it didn't work. The grip comb, I don't think it's sold on Amazon. I got mine from the grip comb. Um, I've heard the ones sold on Amazon don't work as well. Skincare products. Yeah, and turkey. To see about this and so some of this dental work is 10 15 years old maybe older so we're getting it replaced we're hopefully having you know i'll keep you abreast of how that goes all right y'all have a lovely day again i'm patty task yourself on both instagram and tiktok and out here i am 57 my daughter is 30 i like hair care skin care smiling peace joy happiness um, I am in Izmir, Turkey, getting some dental work done with my daughter. She's here with me. The food has been awesome. I'm going to eat a big breakfast this morning because after this, I'm not so sure what's next. All right, y'all. Y'all have a lovely day. Be good. Be kind to one another. Move in love.